back with the Batman. Watching the Old Punch Man series, season one is on Hulu and it's in English, and season two is dubbed. So I'm waiting for this, the actual, or sorry, subtitled. I'm waiting for the dub version of season two to come out. So I actually bought this figure before I watched it, and I'm pleasantly surprised that it's a really good show compared to most animes. They kind of introduce too many characters at once, and it's hard to follow. And this show is, yeah, it's paced really good. To where it introduces characters gradually and doesn't get too overcomplicated in the first season when they actually meet the hero association and stuff like that. So, but he's actually a really, it's a good show. This like, is not One Punch Man, right? It's, yeah, that's One Punch Man. It is? Yeah, his oh. name is Saitama, but he's, it's basically, he's just a business guy and he decides one day that he just, he's tired of all that shit and there's like this big crab guy that's trying to kill this little kid so he like fights him and he ends up just like punching him once like just blowing a hole right in him so he finds out that he's like super strong and his name says it all basically there's only like one enemy he fights in the first season that takes more than one punch because everybody he punches just like dies immediately they like explode <laughs> so it's like Kinshiro's fucking dee -dee 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 -dee. but just poof. <laughs> but yeah, it doesn't seem like much of a fight scene though. <laughs> but it's cool because they, they introduce other characters like Genos, which I hope they do a figure of him as well. His little like he, he's tutoring him, teaching him how to be a superhero, teaching him the ways of the force. Yeah. Oh, sorry, bro. <laughs> this is great. Believe it or not, guys, this is a McFarlane figure. If you didn't know that. And McFarlane is like definitely stepping up his game on the articulation because the people have spoken and he's actually listening and making his figures more articulated, which is a good thing because he's getting the DC license in 2020 and we're still kind of in limbo about the movie Maniacs, which would be cool to see another company do like monster movie figures besides NECA. Yeah. Um, because they're, they're affordable too, they're only like $19.99. But this figure is actually pretty cool. Like I said, he's got really good articulation, almost like a Marvel legend. Double jointed, got biceps, wrists, neck, ab crunch. He's got toe articulation. Legs move both ways, waist. He's got toe articulation, ankle articulation. So that's that's awesome that he's actually listening to his fans, which he has to if he wants to continue making action figures. He's definitely got to meet the demands of the people because. Hasbro is just killing everybody. He watches Toy Bros. He has to, obviously, because... Tom McFarlane actually, like, replied back to me in one of his live videos. That was cool. Was, I mean, no big deal. He was just like, oh, that's awesome, man. Because I was like, dude, I've been... I got, like, thousands of action figures because of you, because that's what started me collecting. And he was like, dude, that's amazing. That was cool. He's a pretty cool dude so far. Now he totally watches the Toy Bros every yep. video. He's our best friend. He is. He's, he's coming over next week, but he's not... He doesn't want to be in the video. Yeah, he's not going to be in the video. He doesn't want to steal our thunder. Yeah, we don't want to. He doesn't want to ride our coattails of glory, and we wouldn't let him anyways. Maybe one day. Maybe he's, one day. We are the I would fucking let, toy. Bro. I would let Tom McFarlane on the show. I bet you'd let him do more than get on your show. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Just shut the fuck up. <laughs> but yeah, it's a cool figure, and they actually do like two different versions of his face because the artwork in the show is actually like that. Uh, if I'm correct, there was a web comic of this that one guy made, and it got a little bit of a following. And then somebody else was like, "Hey, let us help you make the cartoon." So they still feature kind of like the the corny anime drawing, and then they have really really good artwork. But it blends together well. It reminds me of like Ren and Stimpy when it would just be like a regular animation, and then it would show like the really gross close up. So like what they were talking about, like pimples and fucking hairs and shit, and boogers coming out of their faces. So it kind of reminds me of that, but in a more anime style, theme to a superhero setting. But uh, him so sexy. Yeah, I'm interested to get into season two to see what's going on because, like I said, they introduced. He eventually becomes a superhero. He doesn't realize why nobody like knows who the fuck he is. So he joins the Hero Association, and they rank him as like a, a class C superhero, and class S is like the best. And 
Genos gets class S because he's a badass cyborg and like they just give him class C so he's like what the fuck <laughs> but he ends up at the end of the first season he ends up like taking down this huge alien ship with a bad guy that's from another planet and they think that somebody else did it because they're all fighting shit on the ground. And he's up there actually fighting the main bad guy. And nobody sees it. So none of the heroes will give him respect. So he's trying to, to make his path through that. So, but I think it's really cool. We'll Goku's better. Head. I don't know, man. You like Dragon Ball you better? You know what his training regime is? No. 100 I... sit-ups, 100 push-ups. You run 100 meters. You don't turn the AC on in the summer, and you don't turn the heat on in the winter. What? <laughs> That's his training. And you eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner, even if it's just a banana in the morning. <laughs> And that's how he's so tough. So fuck, I like a breakfast burrito in the morning with some bacon and cheese up on that bitch. Pretty much, he's like a god, and he just doesn't realize it. And I think they'll reveal that later on. But it's a really cool show, and it's worth giving a watch if you like that kind of shit. Because it surprised me with how well it was done. And like I said, a lot of animes will try to throw 15 characters at you in the first episode, and you're like, I don't know what the fuck is going on. They don't do that. I don't. And this, there's like 16 episodes in the first season, and they, like I said, the first like 10 episodes, it's just him and Janos and just like random enemies. So, and, the, and like I said, the enemies are cool too. Hopefully they'll do Janos. I don't really see McFarlane doing too many more of the characters, but it's a possibility, you know, if it actually got popular enough. I was say, it depends on how good this figure does. And other companies make them too, but of course, like any kind of imports are going to be a lot more expensive than domestic stuff. So twenty bucks, you can't beat that shit. Yep, and so. and NECA is not twenty dollars anymore either. Those yep. bitches are yep. expensive. They go up every time I get a new one. It's more expensive. Yep. So props to McFarlane for trying to do better with the articulation and meeting the needs of his of his fans. Of his poor fans. Yeah. Go ahead and throw it out there. Yeah, I know. I somehow have it. So. I actually traded that with a dude on Facebook. I'll keep his name private since it's YouTube, but uh, he traded me for one of my Swamp Thing figures. He had an extra Hot Toys Predator 2 laying around. He really liked my Swamp Thing, so he was down to trade for me. It was the Swamp Thing from the last video, from the water yeah, video. Uh, I paid like 20 or 30 bucks for it at MegaCon loose, and he liked it so much, he traded me a Predator 2 Hot Toys, so I can't complain. Fuck no, this thing is awesome. He's got a mask uh, up there. and uh... Yeah, he also comes with a bunch of accessories. He's got a spinal cord, which the uh, Berserker Predator actually comes with that too. Spinal cord and a skeleton. He's got his mask. This one doesn't light up or anything, but his combat stick actually like folds out, deploys. That's badass. Yeah. A lot better than the uh, NECA versions, which I did notice some of the newer Hot Toys Predators actually have like metal parts and blades. This one does not. It's pretty hard plastic, so it doesn't feel as chintzy as a NECA one that breaks immediately out of the package. But that's pretty dope that everything is collapsible. He's got this shit on his arm. Super detailed. <clears throat> These are these are rich people toys. We can't afford this shit. I yeah, just luckily real. have acquired two of them over time, yeah. and it's not something I actively pursued because oh, definitely. I can't like maybe if I got rid of all this shit, I would start collecting the hot toys. But yeah, I've seen what is one dude in the groups that did that. He sold his whole entire collection and then went and spent like twenty thousand dollars. And I'm not bullshitting on hot toys, which they are really awesome. There are some really good fucking figures from them. I mean, he paid. Just, that, so hard to fucking get a hold of the new uh, Hulkbuster. There's it's like twelve hundred oh, bucks. That shit is twelve hundred dollars awesome. for one you see figure. The, the Ghostbusters. It's got the fucking Ecto one and all the Ghostbusters. It's like fucking three thousand dollars. <laughs> She's like, I can't. Look. What toy collectors can afford that? The I guess that guy's a lineman. <laughs> yeah. If you're watching this video, <laughs> drop a comment. Give us my toys. <laughs> Yeah, pretty dope, guys. Like, I couldn't pass that deal up. That was, like, a deal of a lifetime. Now, if only I could find a pit, build a figure for, like, $2, like people do at flea markets, or yeah. Spider Hulk. Or if you have the right arm, right leg, and lower torso, let me know. Well, that guy probably felt like it was a Bad deal of a lifetime. Three guys. So, go out and get you one punch, man. Hopefully, they'll make some more and start showing McFarlane some love again. Yep. And before you do that, smash that like button. That's right. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe. Till then...
Shorter bros out or out.